What actually happens when you import a module in Python? You write something like that, hit enter, and boom, it works. But what's really going on behind the scenes? Let's break it down in a super simple way. So, let's say we do import math. The first thing Python does is check if math is already imported. There's a dictionary called sys.modules where Python keeps track of all the modules that have already been loaded. If math is in there, Python just reuses it. Pretty efficient, right? Okay, but what if the module isn't loaded yet? Python goes on a scavenger hunt. It searches for the module in a list of places called sys.path. That includes the current directory, standard library locations, and any directories in the Python path environment variable. If Python doesn't find the module, obviously you get the module not found error. If Python finds the module, it loads it. Now, depending on the type of module, Python does different things. If it's a built-in module like math, Python loads it from C code. Or if it's a Python file, Python compiles it into bytecode and saves it in a dunderpy cache file for faster loading next time. Here when we do import my module, Python loads the file and executes its code. So if there are any print statements, they'll run immediately. Yep, Python executes the module's code. Once. That's why you see this string printed. But if you import it again, nothing happens. Why? Because Python already cached it in sys.modules. If you do this, Python first loads the module if it's not already loaded, then looks up x inside it. For packages, it's a bit more involved. If you do import my package.myModule, Python first loads my packages init.py file, then my package slash my module.py. This is why packages always need dunder init.py file, but not the case for namespace packages. So, next time you write import something, just remember, Python is checking its cache, searching directories, loading or compiling files, executing code, and managing dependencies. All of that happens in the blink of an eye. Pretty cool, right? So, if you found this helpful, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.